This is Modern Homesteading. Tyler's pack. We got Ray's big pack. Mine, mine got smaller on the way out. I, I, Jack was a little too fast, so we uh, loaded him up. I'll slow him down. Jack's pack. I've seen pictures. Guys, you chewing tie bud? Seahawk 2, Captain Jack. Tell me, are you having a good time? I'm having a pretty good time. So we're on an island here, just a small island, and this is about the nicest campsite you could possibly imagine. So we're out here and we're going fishing, and we just caught a nice little fish down there. Mm. Well, we're having a great time. We're having a great time. So one of our party was lagging behind a little bit. Didn't make it into camp last night. And so I'm heading back down to the trailhead see if I can see what happened and get him back up here. So I got back to the truck and on the windshield I got a message here. Ray had to abort mission. My back back got smoked, got to ride to Detroit. Let's see, okay. So good. He's okay on his way home, so I got a good workout today. Back up to the lake. What a nice trail this is. Whoever the trail crew was, whether Forest Service and contract, knew what they're doing. Look at this water crossing. Nice big boulders to tie, key everything in, both sides. A little flat stone right there to prevent erosion. Nice riprap in the bottom. That is a stream crossing right there. Properly done. Looks like a few years back there was a lot of blow down here. Trail crew has been in here cleaning. You can see that they use crosscut saws, this being a wilderness. In a U.S. wilderness, you can't use any power equipment. No chainsaws. So you can see from the curve here, everything that they did was all done by handsaw. Oh, ancient old trees. Look at the size of this dug fir. Hard to get the scale there. Big. Look at all those little rainbow, rainbow trout. See that mountain over there, Jack? That's Mount Jefferson. That's right. That's what it was named after. All right. How many is that that you've caught? Two. That, that's your. Uh, that's actually your third one. The one we let go. Oh yeah. Hold him up there and see. He's a nice little fish, isn't he? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hang him on the back. Let's keep fishing. All right. You got him? Yeah. Oh yeah. I oh, I see him flashing. Oh yeah. Look at that. It's a little one. Bring him over here. Bring him over. Okay, bring your stringer over here. Run it, run the stringer through his gills. We got the Wrangler Star Fishing Armada here. All right, so is this Papa's first fish? Um, no, but it's oh. a pretty good one. 
Papa's kind of a softy, eh? I'm more of a catch and releaser type. He'll go. Oh, come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. He pumped it on his belly for a minute, but he went in. He's okay now, isn't he? I need a new worm. Oh, it has his eyes closed. Oh, he's probably scared to death. It's like he's got a new mama. What kind of bird is that, Jack? I have an idea. Let me see. Did you try giving him a, just a little piece of worm? Mm-hmm. Did you chew it up first and then give it to him? <laughs> <laughs> they are pumping water for our food. So what are you doing here, Jack? I'm this is, the, this is the first fish you've ever cleaned? Um, second. Although last time I had some help for you. Yeah, I think I did that one. We both did it. I'm going to show you the proper way to cook fish. So first you add a little olive oil. And we put some sea salt in here. Olive oil and sea salt. And then you put some lemon, pepper. We got some really nice hot coals that we're going to cook our fish in. They are hot. I hear that I hear that oil sizzling in there, fish, that olive oil. I could just get it over here to this flat rock without dumping it. You can do it. Oh, it's hot. Isn't that Easy nice? That skin is. Yeah, so just take your knife here and and you just kind of flake that skin off. Just cut, kind of cut through it. it. Should just fall off. See all that? It should be okay. I've never had anything like it. So it's our last morning. Chilly this morning. So I'm cooking up, a, boiling up a little hot water. I like to have a cup of coffee in the morning. My Snow Peak Titanium Cup. You want coffee camping, there's only one way to go. Starbucks makes these little pouches. It's an instant coffee, but it's not the instant coffee that you may be used to. It's actually delicious coffee. And uh, you just take one of these, put it in your cup, it's a little powder, and voila, no filter, no percolator, no nonsense. It was a long, hard night gonna be a long hard day we better make it a double this place is absolutely extraordinary I am so blessed to be able to live here so because we had to pack that heavy heavy raft I really went lightweight on the tent which was a bit of a challenge getting both of us in this tiny one-man tent. But how did we do last night? Pretty good. I rolled out into the ground. I left the door open a little bit in the bottom, and I found Jack outside of it this morning, which was just fine with me. I thought I still have a little extra room. So this is la the last day. We're uh, going to fish our way back to the outlet. And we've got a couple miles to row, and hopefully we'll pick up a few more trout. Mm -hmm. Fighter. Oh boy, he's a scrapper, huh? All right, snatch him. What do we have here? Looks like it's already dead. No, no, and we're catching them on uh, the rooster tail. Is the orange rooster tail is hot right now? Here we go. Hey dads, if you have kids, sons or daughters, drop whatever you're doing right now and get a calendar and circle a weekend that you're going to take them out on a backpacking trip and take them fishing. I know it's hard to do. I know our lives are busy and. And those things just kind of, you keep putting them off and putting them off. But you know what they will remember? They'll remember that day you took them in, fishing or camping or hiking or whatever you, whatever it is. It doesn't make any difference just having that time. What they won't remember 
is uh, you working overtime that weekend. So make it happen. Just write down that date and make it happen. You'll never, never regret it. And you'll make memories that your, your kids will never forget. I had a great time, great time. Glad to be back though. Missed my bed. Not as rugged as I once was. So, if you haven't noticed already, we have hit 6,000 videos on the log cabin. What does that mean? Well, I said that if we hit 5,000 videos, I would do a complete review of a properly outfitted wildland firefighter covering all of the gear, fire shelter, helmet, etc., etc., etc. So you have spoken and I will answer. So I will shoot that today and get that hopefully uploaded in the next 24 hours. So did you click the thumbs up? I'm not wearing my thumbs up t-shirt. If you enjoyed this video and like to see more like this, well, you know. If you'd like to support the channel, please do that. Uh, we appreciate it. It helps me, helps my family, and, and we're always grateful. So thanks for watching, and we will see you guys on the next video.